Uh, hello everybody, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. We are doing a uh, segment here on uh, lubricating the inside of the case neck. This is something that I've um, delved into a while ago, trying to see is there really any benefit to it. And um, what previous findings found was yes, there is a benefit. Uh, you can squeeze a little more precision and um, there tends to be uh, a reduction in the velocity standard deviation by using uh, internal neck lubing. And um, this is a finding, once again, that, that I did kind of exper experimentally and also along the way just shooting matches, shooting at the range. Anytime I don't lube the case necks in this 6 PPC cartridge, I tend to find double digits um, in terms of standard deviation um, in the velocity. So um, usually it's low to mid double digits, 12, 15, which, you know, frankly, for this cartridge, don't really show up on target, you know, at short range, 100, 200 yards. Um, certainly can make a huge difference if you're shooting, you know, out to five, 600,000 plus. So um, anyway, major benefit to lubricating um, is getting those SDs, standard deviations shrunk, and also it, it gives you a little bit more precision. And so um, anyway, what I'd like to do today is to demonstrate this Delta Turning um, Lube No Oil, which is a silicon water-based lubricant and then the neo lube 2 which is a graphite alcohol based lubricant and i've done a lot of my tests on this stuff here the neo lube 2 i've never actually tested the no oil um, again delta from italy um, never actually done a side by side comparison comparing the two i, I do know <clears throat> from previous findings neo lube 2 does really well again reducing standard deviations and giving a little more precision. So um, so this current test is going to look at basically comparing the two. Is there any major difference between them? Okay, so how do you go about applying the lubricant? That's a frequent question that I get. And um, what I do is I get these foam tips. Uh, I don't like cotton. Cotton tips uh, when you when you you know put some lubricant in the neck I can see little shards of cotton in there so that's why I don't like it with foam there's no shards of anything it just goes in pretty clean so as you can see you know clean neck you can't really see a whole lot on that neck and then you just saturate the foam tip put it in sideways and go kind of in a circular motion with it to make sure you you know you get enough lubrication on it now you can clearly see uh, it's very dark you can see it um, now you have to be careful not to over lube okay so once I'm done with this I know this this probably is not over lube I'm looking in the case and I don't see any lubrication streaking down I would take this case put it down sideways and give it a few three to five minutes possibly ten if you want to be 100 percent certain that it's dry um, and let it dry uh, that way you know if you don't let it dry you're gonna throw a charge in there and it's good your kernels are gonna get all uh, tangled up with the lubricant also and this is very important if you over lube it and and the lube you know streaks down to the primer pocket uh, that's gonna produce one of two things it could produce the primer not firing okay um, and the second thing it could produce is a massive variation in your velocity. So, um, if you, if you use this lube or these lubes and you all of a sudden, you know, you go to the range and you're noticing, man, I'm seeing massive, uh, fluctuations in velocity. It's probably because that lube got into your primer. All right. Um, I've done that before. Um, several times where um, I've it, you know and I'll go and I'll look down at the primer after it doesn't fire and I'll see some 
neo lube some black stuff around the primer edge there and i'm like oh man it's pretty obvious it got down into there um so yeah don't <laughs> absolutely be careful when you apply this don't oversaturate the tip don't go in there and try to get it completely you know wet all across the board inside the entire case it's just just get enough on there to go into the case neck and just do a little turn okay it's that simple don't don't oversaturate it and then lay it down sideways to dry uh, oops i got a little around the neck so i always do keep a little rag nearby wipe off the neck so there that's how i do that um, with the delta now delta so neolube is alcohol based so it's likely to dry pretty quick in my experience even in a pretty high humid environment like if uh, we see in the pacific northwest united states here it'll dry in two to five minutes no problem with the no oil it's water based so it takes longer to dry but what i do is i just dump some into this little plastic cup here and you take the piece of brass dip it in you can see it on the outside pretty easily and you can see it on the inside you can see how it goes down the neck okay and so it's now lubricated down it's almost to the bottom of the neck there once it gets to the bottom of the neck then i take it and put it in a shell holder like this okay um like these lapua cases come with that so yeah, and then at the bottom I have a little rag there. Okay, and that's it. You're done, and then what I do is either leave this out or if you want it to dry faster, uh, one thing I've done is I put it in my laundry room because my laundry room is very warm, uh, very hot, and a lot less humid. Um, or you can you know, dry them out with a hair dryer or whatever you want to do, but um, I typically just throw it in the laundry room and grab it half an hour later. Um, so that's the way that I apply it. Um, other users have applied it with, you know, again, with the foam tip, dipping it in here and then running it in the neck. Um, I'm not sure if that's any better or worse than this method, but um, it's something that you could certainly try and, you know, see what happens. So that's, that's the method of application for the Neo Lube and the Delta. All right. <clears throat> so we broke out the amp press machine for this test we wanted to see with the lubrications was there any differences in the seating force uh, between the neo lube and the no oil and uh, so this amp press gives you um, seating pressure data um, i used my standard la wilson die that i use for all my seating testing uh, with the 6ppc and um, this really nifty machine here gives you seating pressure curves and uh, overall seating force values and just some data to look at to inform what's going on. Um, I like to use the amp press uh, when I load um, my first three sets of um, firings for each piece of brass because what it does is it'll show me like if there's a piece of brass that for whatever reason is not uh, seating uniformly uh, with the other pieces. And so I use it as kind of a quality control type of um, uh, device also for testing and also just for just looking at seating force every day. So anyway, use that. And um, just FYI, the neck tension on these was about three thousandths neck tension maybe a little bit over but so pretty high neck tension so um in if i'm running less neck tension i generally will see less seating force but here's the data on it um the green curves is the no oil and generally the seating force is finished out at around 50 to 60 pounds and the orange curve is the Neo Lube 2. And generally, those, those seating forces finished out around 30 to 40 pounds. Um, but as you can see, they both had the exact same seating curve. Um, it's just at the end there of the seating process, um, the no oil had a little bit of a heavier 
um, seating for us. But both, like I said, very uniform curves, and both had pretty pretty good tight <clears throat> um, variability. So nothing terribly to worry about when I looked at, at the seating force data. All right, now let's get down to some other data, the real important stuff. Um, as I mentioned before, one of the major advantages of using uh, lubrication inside the case neck that I have observed with my testing using Neolube and I think you know and, and some others is uh, a lower standard deviation in velocity. Um, I don't know what causes that. <laughs> I don't know why. I just know that um, that uh, for whatever reason lubing the inside of the necks uh, and I also actually lube the bullet too. Um, so um, doing that reduces standard deviation for whatever reason. So in six PPC cartridge, I will typically have double digit standard deviations. That's normal. Again, at a short range, 100, 200 yards with that cartridge, double digit SDs is no big deal. Uh, in fact, it, again, it's, it's normal. It's, it's usual, it happens quite often. Um, but when I lube the case necks and the bullets, all of a sudden it shrinks to single digits. And I, again, I don't know why, but it, but it does. So I actually measured the velocity standard deviation out of the several five shot groups that I shot with Neolube 2 and with no oil. And what I found was statistically speaking, there was no difference between the standard deviation of the no oil and the Neolube 2 and both were single digit standard deviations. So Statistically speaking, they both performed the same in terms of standard deviation, um, and they were both single digits. So they both did their jobs very well, suppressing standard deviation. Okay, now what about precision? I mean, that's the that's the big one. Um, yeah, wonderful, you reduce standard deviations. Probably has more implications for long range shooting than short range anyway, That that's fine. But what about precision? And um, in previous testing, I did show Neolube can give you a little more precision. Um, well, the statistics on precision showed that there was no difference between the Neolube and the no oil. Okay, that both of them ag agged the same. Um, there was, I shot 11 five shot groups with the no oil, and I shot eight five shot groups with the Neolube. And there was statistically no difference between the aggregate of all of those five shot groups. Okay, so again, 11 five shot groups with no oil and eight five shot groups with Neolube with no statistically significant difference between the two. So it seems like basically the benefits of suppressing standard deviation and getting a little more precision. Uh, not only come from Neolobe 2, but also come from no oil. And so you can essentially use one or the other and expect to have um, the same results, the same good results that you would expect um, from, you know, just simply lubricating the inside of the neck and the bullet. Uh, they both seem to be able to get the job done. So um, I'd say great products, um, you know, just pick and choose which one. Some In some places, Neolube may not be available, but if no oil is, grab the no oil, you know. Um, if no oil is not available to you, but Neolube is, grab that. <laughs> so, uh, you know, um, but yeah, they both essentially perform the same and have the same benefits of suppressing standard deviation and increasing precision a bit, okay? All right, well, thanks for tuning in and um, please join my Patreon page. I do a lot of posting there. We have a, we have a good community of, of shooters in that uh, Patreon page where we're sharing a lot of information. I'm posting a lot more on there than I do on YouTube, and we're sharing a lot more information on that page. So I encourage you to join. It'd be nice to have you. Okay, thanks, everyone.